You want to know what that's equivalent to? That's like someone scooping a ball of shit, putting it on an ice cream cone, and they were going to sell it, but then they were like, oh wait, this is fucking just the worst deal ever. Let's put some sprinkles on it. How's it going everybody? It's Shiny Sides. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. If you're on spring break, I uh, hope you're having a good time. No drugs. Okay, maybe a little drugs. I'm kidding. I don't condone drug use. Don't. Don't do drugs. And if you're not on spring break, well, that fucking sucks. No, so I'm not sure how everyone figured this out. I think I'm the last person to figure out that there's a map pack coming out for MWR. That's kind of what happens when you have negative one friends. But yeah, in case y'all didn't know, I'm sure y'all did, but there's a map pack coming out for MWR. I think it's supposed to release March 21st or something like that on PlayStation. I'm not sure when it releases on Xbox One, but I know PlayStation gets it March 21st. But there's a huge deal about it because... It's $15 for the map pack, and people have already paid 10 bucks back then on the regular Call of Duty 4 for this exact same map pack. So it's kind of causing a little problem. How it works is it's $14.99, and it includes the four multiplayer maps, Broadcast, Chinatown, Creek, and Kill House. I'll show y'all pictures if you, if you don't know what those maps look like. Here's Broadcast, Chinatown, Creek, Kill House. So it includes those four multiplayer maps and 10 rare supply drops. You know Call of Duty was like, wow, this is such a bullshit deal, but whatever. Here's some supply drops. Maybe it'll soften the blow. You want to know what that's equivalent to? That's like someone scooping a ball of shit, putting it on an ice cream cone, and they were gonna sell it. Then they were like, oh wait, this is fucking just the worst deal ever. Let's put some sprinkles on it. So you're pretty much getting a ball of shit with some sprinkles on it for $15. Seems like a pretty fucking good deal to me. I can't lie to you. I'm probably gonna end up buying it anyways, just because I'm a cheap person though. I don't think we should buy it, but it's whatever. I mean, me bitching about it's not gonna change the price. So and Call of Duty really just mind fucked me. I remember a long time ago in one of my earlier videos I talked about my friend Luke half man one two three we call him half man cuz he's like six five But a fucking twig. No, he's not six five. He's like, I don't know. He's close there six three six four six two some shit like that. He's pretty tall. There's a video of him and this guy getting into a fight at a red light. It has a million views. It's funny as fuck. The backstory to this is my friend Luke rides motorcycles. Or he used to at least. He used to haul ass. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still alive. Now, you can't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I'll ask him later and make sure I can get a confirmation on this. But I'm pretty sure this guy in a Fiat cut him off. So he sped past him and cut the Fiat off again. And they met up at a red light and the guy got out of his Fiat and approach Luke's bike. So the guy approaches Luke's bike. Luke gets off his bike with all his gear on and stuff. So he doesn't look so skinny. He looks kind of bigger. And he's also tall as fuck. And I'll show you the video, but the guy kind of backs up. Like, the guy's talking shit. He's pretty confident. And Luke stands up and the guy starts being a pussy. Some of you might not understand who's talking. Because I didn't understand who was talking at first. But some people's bike helmets have, like, a radio in them. And you guys can all get on the same frequency or whatever. Kind of like walkie-talkies, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much how they're talking. But you can hear Luke talking the whole time. And I'm pretty sure you'll understand who's talking. But anyways, without wasting your time, you guys are probably getting really freaking annoyed. Here's Luke, um, about to get his ass kicked or maybe about to beat some ass, I don't know, but here it is. Oh, here comes the Fiat. Hey! Oh! Oh! He's speeding! He's going fast! Oh, the Fiat's falling, y'all! Cop. 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 C-O-P. Here he comes, dude. What's up? Oh boy. Nice see ya, Tiger. For what? What? For what? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Huh? What's up? Go get back in your fucking Fiat. Yeah. Well, go get back in it. Then why are you driving it like a maniac? Like a maniac? Did you see you, What's wrong? What's up? Yeah, we're all videoing. Look at all the cameras on you. Okay, go get back in your fucking Fiat. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Dude, don't blow your engine. Bro, oh, go get back in your fucking car. This can't steal that car, motherfucker. It's mad. Oh, okay. My bad. Oh, he's a badass. <laughs> Bro, how he, said he, will, he owns like discount tires and something. The guy walks up to him and goes, I bet you don't think you're so badass now. And then Luke stands up and the guy becomes such a bitch. And you guys might have to replay it one more time, but there's a part where Luke goes, go get back in your fucking Fiat, faggot. And the guy says, it's my mom's. 
It is so funny, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. You know, maybe we can get Luke on here and he can talk about that fateful day. But yeah, it was funny how that guy became a huge pussy. But um, yeah, like I said, this video might be a little short. I do apologize if it is. I Again, I'm, I'm trying my hardest, but I just got stuff to do as well. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. If you're old, don't unsubscribe. I'm trying to work on this intro. One of my buddies, shout out you, Tigers. He said he's going to help me with an intro. So, I mean, I'm just waiting for, for that. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey.